Good morning, everybody. Hello. It's, it's, Good it's morning, Suzanne everybody. Hayes testing. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, everything's good. So uh, I'll call this uh, awesome. Thank you. Municipal Planning Commission meeting to uh, f of January 18, 2022 to order. Um, Municipal Planning Commission is conducting this meeting in person and via conference call in accordance with Municipal Government Act Section 199. Council Chambers is now open for public attendance in person. However, members may still join meetings remotely using our current teleconference process. As per Wheatland County Policy 7.13, members of the public are not permitted to speak unless the Commission agrees to hear from them. If the Commission agrees to allow the public to speak, the Chair will call upon specific individuals at that time. Please note, this call is being recorded and will be uploaded to our website and or social media. For any individuals using the conference call line, we ask that you mute your phone to eliminate background noise. Everyone has a right to be present at at Municipal Planning Commission meetings. Any attendees that are considered disruptive to the progression of this meeting may be removed at the discretion of the Chair as per Municipal Government Act, Section 198. We thank you for your cooperation and understanding as there are um, members that are going to be uh, joining us remotely. Um, the votes will be uh, in the negative. I'll ask if there's any opposition. If I don't hear any, uh, the vote will be considered passed. Um, so we have a, uh, a, the agenda in front of us. Are there any changes, admissions, deletions? Just, uh, Chair Eckert, I'm wondering if you could do a roll, roll call. Okay. Because some uh, members may be calling in as well. Okay, Thank perfect. You. That's a very good idea. Um, Member Link. Good morning. Member Bigger. Present. Member Kester. Present. Member LaPrice. Present. Member Eichert is here. M Member Larson has has stepped into the room. Member Clausen. I'm here on the line. Thank you very much. Everybody is present. Um, so we have the uh, adoption of the agenda. Any changes? I'll move approval. Is there any opposition vote? Thank you, Member uh, Link. Uh, is there any uh, opposition? Hearing none, the agenda is approved. We have a copy of the unapproved minutes for December 14th, uh, MPC's wishes. Um, that was, thank you, Member Kester. Um, any opposition? Hearing none, that is passed. We now move on to development permit applications. Uh, 2.21 DP 2021-214. Good morning, everyone. I'm Suzanne Hayes, development officer with Wheatland County. I will be presenting three development permit applications this morning. Uh, the first one is 2021-214, and it is for a variance to the setback of a road right-of-way for ground mount solar panel. So the location plan is found on page 10 of your application package, and you can see that it's 13 kilometers approximately um, southeast of Dallum. On the same page, we have the circulation map. We circulated to landowners within one mile of the application uh, parcel boundary. If we, oh, we circulated, we didn't receive any comments back from the circulation, and we did not circulate to any agencies. Um, we did do an internal circulation, and we had no concerns with the variance from our manager of operations as he said, it was a low volume gravel road and the panels will be in alignment with existing structures. On page 11 of the, app, of the agenda package, we can see the site plan and an aerial photo showing uh, the row of solar panels. They total an area of 800 square feet. They're 11 feet high, approximately. And they line up with an existing row of grain bins, which are considered to be legal non-conforming or grandfathered due to their age. 
So the applicant is proposing that the panels be 45 feet from the right of way of the range road and they are supposed to be 75 feet. So the variance has been requested. On page 11 and 12 of the agenda package, we just have some illustrations of the panel. Some things to consider um, that the proposal does meet the criteria listed in the land use bylaw, section, section 4.3 regarding variances, as it should not have a negative impact on surrounding landowners or the amenities of the neighborhood. No concerns were raised from the circulation to surrounding landowners, and the Transportation and Infrastructure Department had no concerns with the panel in relation to Range Road 184. The conclusion from staff and the recommendation is found on page six of the agenda package. Staff are recommending approval of the application and the variance, subject to the conditions as noted. On page eight of the agenda package, we have our standard three options for MPC to consider. And that concludes my presentation. Please let me know if you have questions. Thank you, Suzanne. MPC's wishes? I'll move that Municipal Planning Commission approve DP 2021-214 for solar panels requiring a variance to the setback to the right of way of a public road subject to the conditions outlined. Thank you, Member LaPrise. Any discussion? Yes. Just a couple of questions to administration. I know when we've looked at um, variances from road right of ways previously, and I recognize that it's indicated this is like a lower volume gravel road, but we there were concerns expressed about like snow being cast from like snow clearing or gravel, like from our maintenance operations. Is that a concern of administration with this variance request? Uh, through the chair, when I circulated to the Transportation and Infrastructure Department, they didn't raise any concerns of that nature. And I'm not, I don't know if it's because it is a low volume gravel road, um, but they didn't bring that up. So I guess it's not a concern of theirs. Um, along that same line, should we have something on there that if our snow plows are going down that road, it I think it's pretty close to, and it might not happen, but you can fire gravel 45 feet if the snow plow is going speed. I, I don't know, should there we not responsible for any gravel that chips these panels? I Like, I don't know how hardy these things are. Probably won't be a problem because it's close to the corner as it is, but I don't know if there should be something in there. We can definitely add a condition. We can say, um any damage sustained to the panels due to road maintenance activities will be the sole responsibility of the applicant. That, Does that, that capture what you wanted to say? Yeah, that works for me. I think I just don't want to, like, I I think it's, I mean, I think because of the way the, the grain bins are and all that kind of stuff that, you know, there's going to be like snow removal and all that kind of stuff is going to be there no matter what happens. So, um, yeah, that that mentions. I just don't want the county to be liable if we're we're just maintaining our roadway and and we've had people come in here and say that we've broken tractor windows because we're we've rolled gravel in. So that's that's all. So, um, so any other discussion? Okay, are we good with that wording? I yes, I'm good with that wording. Can we just repeat it one more time? I'm just wondering an addition of just acknowledging that like maintenance must continue on the road. And I liked that the cost would be the responsibility of the applicant, but maybe just explicitly also say that Wheatland County would have no liability for any damage caused by operations and maintenance or something along those lines. Okay. Uh... Give me one sec. 
I know it's kind of redundant, but then it's crystal clear. Okay. I just think it's good to be explicit okay. that like the operations and maintenance of the transportation network are essential, like are okay. essential and a priority. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, it says any damage due to solar panels, I'm sorry, any damage done to solar panels due to road maintenance will be the sole responsibility of the applicant. Wheatland County will have no liability due to um, performing, sorry, I can't even read my writing, and maintenance of the road due to, can you say what you said again, please? I don't remember, but uh, I liked what you had. Maybe just Wheatland County will have no liability for any damages resulting from Wheatland County okay. operations and maintenance of the transportation network or, or of the roadway or okay. something like that. I just wanted to be really explicit okay. that because that is our responsibility is, and then I think that has to take precedence over any variance for development that's occurring. Midland County will have no liability for any damages resulting from operations resulting from. Okay. Resulting from maintenance of the road network. Okay. Definitely will add that. Thank you. Maybe just the inclusion of operations as well, and I'm just thinking, I'm even thinking non Wheatland County traffic that would be utilizing the road, you know what I mean? Like, because we allow that. I, and if that's not necessary, I'm fine too. But. So you're saying that other traffic on the road, if they that. were to damage? Oh. Or just any liability? Yeah, like, because. Okay. I, I'm just thinking like a huge truck or something that. But the truck is using the road, so the truck has the right to use the road. Yeah. They've asked for encroachment on that road, so. As long as there's no liability from, uh, I would ahead. suggest that this captures okay. your intent. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So do I have to? Do we have to just amendment. ask? Will you include that amendment? Yeah. Yes, I will. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, any more discussion? Is there any opposition? Deem it passed. We'll move on to 2.2, .2, which is DP 2021-219. Thank you. This application is for a municipal gravel stockpile site. If we go to the location plan on page 18 of the agenda package, we can see that it is approximately five kilometers southeast of Rosebud. And uh, we also have the circulation map on the same page. We circulated to adjacent landowners within one mile. We didn't receive any responses. Um, we circulated, we did not circulate to any agencies. We did an internal circulation. We had no concern. If we go down to page 19, we could just see um, just a map of where the existing stockpile locations and existing gravel pits, just for interest. Um, the proposal is to construct a gravel stockpile site for municipal use on the roads and municipal infrastructure. 2.87 acre site will be fenced and contain stockpiles of gravel and topsoil. There will be no buildings on the site. Um, the applicant, Wheatland County, has stated that um, they do have a water truck that travels with their crew to mitigate any dust issues. There have been no concerns raised from surrounding landowners, and the development will proceed according to an approved grading and drainage plan to ensure no impact occurs to the drainage in the area. The applicant, Wheatland County, has also um, undertaken an environmental screening report to provide uh, that mitigation me measures relating to the management of soil, vegetation, and water. So that satisfies all these proposed conditions that we had placed. The conditions are found on pages 14 and 15 of the agenda package. And staff is recommending approval of the stockpile site subject to those conditions. Our standard response options are on page 16. 
and that concludes my presentation. Please let me know if you have questions. Thank you, Suzanne. MPC's wishes? Yes, I'll move that uh, we approve um, DP 2021-219 for a stockpile site. Thank you, Member Larson. Um, discussions? Yes, go ahead, Member Kester. This is number eight. We're not buying this site, are we? No. Um, sorry, we own the site already? Oh, it's already bought? Yeah, we own that site, yep. Okay. Any more discussion? I guess I'm just curious, is this uh, farmland that we're taking out? Like, is this currently farmed land? Do we know? Are we taking there away is, farmland? There is an acreage already subdivided off. This 2.87 acres. So it's already subdivided and it's already in our name. I'm not sure when we bought it, but it has already been subdivided off. Okay, thank you. Yes. Remember. Just confirming that the resolution included the conditions or the motion. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. There's no more discussion. I will call the vote. Anybody opposed? Hearing no opposition, that is passed. We will now move on to 2.23 DP 2021-236. Thank you. This is for signs, re signs requiring a development permit. And this is for uh, one freestanding sign and three fascia signs as defined in the land use bylaw. So please. The location plan is found on page 26 of the application package. And as you can see, it's in the Origin Business Park. It's on a site previously approved for a truck stop, which includes, uh, will include a number of commercial uh, businesses in there. So um, if we go to page Sorry, the circulation map is also on page 26. We circulated to landowners within one mile on the Wheatland County side. We didn't receive any responses. We also circulated to Rocky View County with no responses and to Alberta Transportation. They did not respond yet, but they had previously approved um, a multi-purpose sign for the whole development that had, you know, all the businesses would be listed on it, they had approved that sign. So um, internal circulation, we didn't have any concerns. We go to page 27 with the uh, site plan and the, the diagrams of all the different signs. You can see one, the freestanding sign is for their menu board in the drive through lane for so the KFC franchise uh, development. And then the other signs are just going to be on the front facade on the south side of the building, as illustrated in the diagram there. So the signage um, is characteristic of a commercial highway development, and the proposed locations do not interfere with traffic flow or sight lines. Staff are recommending approval as you excuse me, can see on pages 21 and 22 of the agenda package. <coughs> excuse me. Um, so staff are recommending approval with conditions. And as you can see in condition six, this approval of the signage does not indicate approval of the actual restaurant because that application has not been submitted yet. So we have identified that in the conditions. MPC has the three standard response options found on page 24, and that concludes my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. MPC's wishes. I'll move the approval with the recommended conditions. Thank you, Member Link. 
Any discussion? Just a question to administration. They were talking about that freestanding sign that um, AT has already approved, the big one that's, that's going out front. Did, does that come back toward before us again, or is that because they've got permission from AT? That yes. don't? Well, they have the option to either um, apply for their signage in conjunction with their development permit for the development and that's what they did, or if they hadn't applied for the signage then, then they would apply for it separately later on, but they included it with their application for their development permit, so it's already been approved. Okay, thank you. And Suzanne, one more question. Welcome. Is this usual to apply for signage mm -hmm. before you actually have approval for the restaurant itself? I do not know if it's usual. I don't know if it's a because they want to advertise that it's coming, but I don't know if it's a typical thing to do. Hmm. Interesting. Need more discussion? If there's no more discussion, I'll call the vote. Any opposition? Hearing none, that is passed. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, I think Thank that's- Thank you, good, good day. I think that's everything. I will adjourn this meeting. Thank you very much.